Welcome back to Game Development with Pygame. This is part five of our platformer game. We're going to talk about scrolling the window so that we can keep moving as we hit the edges of the screen. All right, at this point, we have a game where we can jump around on platforms and uh, all the mechanics are working well. But if we're going to continue along the direction of making this a doodle jump style game, then we want to be able to continue jumping higher and higher. That's the goal, is to see how, how long you can keep going upwards. So we want, uh, well, there's a couple ways you can look at it. We want the camera to move up, although technically we don't really have a camera in this game. We just have the, the game window here. Um, the other way to look at it is we want everything on the screen to move downwards, right? That's what would happen if the camera went up, then everything would look like it moved down. So we want to move everything on the screen downwards and then um, have new platforms that are up above the top of the screen uh, move into the window. Okay, so typically you want to do that somewhere, you know, around the middle point of, I mean, uh, around a quarter of the way from the top, right about here. When our player reaches this height is when we want to scroll the screen. So let's go down here to our update section of our game loop. And I'm going to actually collapse some of these other ones that we don't need to look at right now to keep us from uh, being distracted. All right, we're looking at the update section of our game loop. And what we want to do here is we want to check for when the player reaches the top um, that line that we that we marked off, which is um, the top quarter of the screen, right? So if player reaches top one fourth of screen, so what that means is if the player rect uh, dot top is less than or equal to height over four, right? If that happens, then we want to move everything down. Right, and that includes the platform and the player, or all the platforms and the player. So we're going to take the player position, right? Because that's the the pause dot y is the variable that's actually tracking where the player is. Okay, and we're going to add the player velocity. Now we're moving upwards, right? So our velocity is negative. Um, so we're just going to take the absolute value of it, which means taking out the sign, right? So move at whatever speed the player is moving at, right? Because if you think of it as a camera that's scrolling, we wouldn't want it to move uh, at a different speed than the player is because then it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be smooth. Then we need to take all the platforms. So we'll go through each platform in the self.platforms take the platform's rectangle and add also add the player velocity to it. Okay? So for each platform, we're moving the platform down at whatever the speed the player is. So, what that should mean, oops, where did I put self.player? All right. So when we get up here, See, things start scrolling down when we hit that line. All right, I'll run it again one more time so you can see it. All right, so I'll put my mouse right here, right about when we get here. All right, we push downwards. All right, and now, of course, there's nowhere else to go because there's no more platforms. Well, we have two things we need to worry about now. When I jump upwards, these existing platforms, they're scrolling down off the bottom, right? So they're down here somewhere. Their, their Y coordinate is greater than the height of the screen. So they're down here somewhere. And if we were to keep spawning new platforms and keep scrolling them off the bottom, eventually we're going to have lots of platforms down here, more and more, right? And remember that the collisions, the way the collisions work is, we check if the player collides with any platforms. So if that if this platforms group just keeps getting bigger and bigger, we're wasting 
uh, we're wasting processing power and we're wasting um, time checking for collisions with things that are way, way off the screen down below. Um, and eventually, if you were really good at the game and you got really high, then that would start causing lag because we're trying to collide with thousands of platforms, but there's only you know five or six on the screen. So what we want to do is we want to delete the platforms that go off the bottom. So when we move the platform here, we're just going to say if the plat top is greater than or equal to height. So if the top of the platform goes off the bottom of the screen, then we're just going to kill the platform. That way, we're only worried about the ones that are on the screen, right? And that won't look any different because we're, they're going to go off before we delete them. But it does mean that there's nothing there anymore when we fall down. And that's fine because we don't want to go downward. We want to go upwards. So we need to think about spawning some new platforms. Well, if we have been killing the ones that go off the bottom, then our group is getting smaller. So what we could do is respawn new ones to replace the ones that are gone. That way, we'll keep you know, a similar amount of platforms on the screen on average, because we don't want there to be too many, and we don't want there to be too few. So remember, we're making five platforms here, right, to start with. Those are the ones we see on the screen at the beginning. And whenever we jump up, we might be in this frame when we jump upwards, we might be deleting one or two or even three, however many scrolled off, right? So we need to spawn new platforms to keep um, the same average number of platforms. So what we'll do is we'll make a little while loop. And as long as the length of the platforms group is less than six. I'm going to say six. We have five starting, so we'll actually be spawning another one up above. Then we want to spawn a new platform, and the place we want to spawn it is above the top, right, so that we see it scroll in as we jump up. So we're going to spawn a new platform, okay? Let's call it P for short because this is going to be a long line. This is going to be a platform, and we're going to randomize this a bit, okay? And actually, we need to randomize First, we need to randomize what the width is. So let's grab a, a width real quick. And this is going to be a random number for how wide you want this new platform you're spawning to be. Right? And so I'll put like 50 to 100. Okay? And then when we spawn the platform, we need to say what x we are going to use. Well, we're going to use random.randrange. Um, and we're going to choose a number between 0. So this is the x, right? So it's going to be either right on this side or right on this side minus however wide we decided to make it. Okay. And then the second category is the y. Well, y, we want it to be above the top of the screen. So we want it to spawn somewhere up above the top. So we'll put it between... Uh, say minus 75 and minus um, 30. We're going to make the platforms, we're making our platforms 20 pixels thick, so we don't want to spawn it somewhere where it's going to already be sticking below. So this is up above the top of the pla of the window. Okay. Um, the width is going to be whatever width we decided to use, and the height is going to be 20. Okay. So that's our new platform. We need to add this to the groups, all sprites. OK, and now we should be seeing some new platforms start spawning. Let's see what happens. OK, there we go. So now these are random, right? So there's going to be times, oh, I could barely make that jump, when you might not be able to make the jump. Although, remember, you can go in both directions, so you can always jump off this way and land on one over there, which is a nice trick. Okay. Now, this is working, and we can go pretty far, although I might have hit a spot here where I can't get any further. And that's going to be possible, too, but that's okay at this point. We're not trying to make this perfect yet. We just want to make sure that we are spawning new platforms, and they're showing up and we can go from one to the next 
And there you see when you're random, sometimes they're going to be right on top of each other. But this is a fast paced game, it's going to keep going. Um, so we're going to be, yeah, see there, that's a little problem we're going to have to deal with at some point. All right. And it's kind of fun already, even though there's no real challenge yet. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop here and leave this for you to play around with at this point. Um, play around with this number, how many platforms you want to have on the screen or have in existence at any given time. Um, play around with how you're randomizing the new platforms, right? Maybe you want to make more skinnier ones. Maybe you want to make fewer wide ones. Um, maybe you want to try different locations for them. You want them not so close to the edges, things like that. Play around with that. Also, you can adjust how it works by changing over in your sprite, how, how fast uh, or how powerful the jump is, right, by changing this, and this player acceleration, right? We, we talked about this before. The player acceleration and the player friction are gonna affect how the player moves. So you can adjust how far they can jump um, horizontally, as well as how far they can jump vertically. So play around with that. Find it. Find it. You know. Find a setting that you like. See if you can. Uh, see if you can play it for a little while. And then in the next video, we will move on and start talking about improving our graphics.